Thoughts without content are empty, intuitions without concepts are blind. The understanding can intuit nothing, the senses can think nothing. Only through their unison can knowledge arise. Everywhere we remain unfree and chained to technology, whether we passionately affirm or deny it. The life of man is of no greater importance to the universe than that of an oyster. My difficulty is only an enormous difficulty of expression. Death hangs over thee, whilst yet thou livest, whilst thou mayest, be good. Metaphysics has as the proper object of its inquiries three ideas only, God, freedom, and immortality. Transcendence constitutes selfhood. It is clear that the causal nexus is not a nexus at all. Live as long as you please, you will strike nothing off the time you will have to spend dead. Hope is the only good that is common to all men, those who have nothing else possess hope still. It would be a hard task to discover the maker and father of this universe of ours, and even if we did find him, it would be impossible to speak of him to everyone. The thing I fear most is fear. Intellect is invisible to the man who has none. No circumstance is ever so desperate that one cannot nurture some spark of hope. In order to remain silent the sane must have something to say. Aim at being loved without being admired. Things are not bad in themselves, but our cowardice makes them so. The philosophers have only interpreted the world, in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. Of war men ask the outcome, not the cause. All happiness or unhappiness solely depends upon the quality of the object to which we are attached by love. It is one of the chief skills of the philosopher not to occupy himself with questions which do not concern him. Remorse sleeps during a prosperous period but wakes up in adversity. Language is a part of our organism and no less complicated than it. Friendship is always helpful, but love sometimes even does harm. To scorn the dictate of reason is to scorn the commandment of God. I think, therefore I am. Strength and beauty are the blessings of youth, temperance, however, is the flower of old age. If one doesn't know his mistakes, he won't want to correct them. To love is to will the good of the other. It is of the nature of desire not to be satisfied, and most men live only for the gratification of it. The beginnings of all things are small. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. Time is the wisest of all things that are, for it brings everything to light. He who is unable to live in society, or who has no need because he is sufficient for himself, must be either a beast or a god. Mathematics is the gate and key of the sciences. Neglect of mathematics works injury to all knowledge, since he who is ignorant of it cannot know the other sciences or the things of this world. And what is worse, men who are thus ignorant are unable to perceive their own ignorance and so do not seek a remedy. The grandeur of man is measured according to what he seeks and according to the urgency by which he remains a seeker. The fundament upon which all our knowledge and learning rests is the inexplicable. The greatness of the human being consists in this, that it is capable of the universe. A free man thinks of death least of all things, and his wisdom is a meditation not of death but of life. I consist of a little body and a soul. Men do not care how nobly they live, but only how long, although it is within the reach of every man to live nobly, but within no man's power to live long. Is any man afraid of change? Why what can take place without change? Though experience be our only guide in reasoning concerning matters of fact, it must be acknowledged, that this guide is not altogether infallible, but in some cases is apt to lead us into errors. The totality is not, as it were, a mere heap, but the whole is something besides the parts. Diseases of the mind are more common and more pernicious than diseases of the body. Man's greatest concern is to know how he shall properly fill his place in the universe and correctly understand what he must be in order to be a man. Nature does nothing uselessly. Unlimited exploitation of cheap labor power is the sole foundation of their power to compete. For what is life but a play in which everyone acts a part until the curtain comes down? Whatever happens it all happens as it should, you will find this true, if you watch narrowly. As a beast of toil an ox is fixed capital. If he is eaten, he no longer functions as an instrument of labor, nor as fixed capital either. Anyone who holds a true opinion without understanding is like a blind man on the right road. When people are friends, they have no need of justice. But when they are just, they need friendship in addition. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. For once touched by love, everyone becomes a poet. 
pleasure, a most mighty lure to evil. But still anger ought be far from us, for nothing is able to be done rightly nor judiciously with anger. Saying is one thing and doing is another. The human being is not the lord of beings, but the shepherd of being. Man reaches the highest point of his knowledge about God when he knows that he knows him not, inasmuch as he knows that that which is God transcends whatsoever he conceives of him. Nothing can come out of nothing, any more than a thing can go back to nothing. One often makes a remark and only later sees how true it is. Fame is something which must be won, honor, only something which must not be lost. One must never forget to look at the aim of a matter. Morals excite passions, and produce or prevent actions. Reason of itself is utterly impotent in this particular. The rules of morality, therefore, are not conclusions of our reason. You must lay aside the burdens of the mind, until you do this, no place will satisfy you. It is too difficult to think nobly when one thinks only of earning a living. The capitalist cannot store labor power in warehouses after he has bought it, as he may do with the raw material. Only the descent into the hell of self-knowledge can pave the way to godliness. I can control my thoughts as necessary, then how can I be troubled? The death of dogma is the birth of morality. Man know thyself, then thou shalt know the universe and God. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Hatred, as well as love, renders its votaries credulous. That which is most excellent, and is most to be desired by all happy, honest and healthy-minded men, is dignified leisure. There is only one good, knowledge, and one evil, ignorance. By liberty, then, we can only mean a power of acting or not acting, according to the determinations of the will. The hour of departure has arrived, and we go our ways, I to die and you to live. Which is the better, only God knows. What cannot be imagined cannot even be talked about. There must be a seed of every good thing in the character of men, otherwise no one can bring it out. Man is by nature a political animal. Very little is needed to make a happy life. No one can be happy without virtue. Have patience a while, slanders are not long-lived. Truth is the child of time, ere long she shall appear to vindicate thee. Every parting gives a foretaste of death, every reunion a hint of the resurrection. It is not titles that make men illustrious, but men who make titles illustrious. The most disadvantageous peace is better than the most just war. Like everything metaphysical the harmony between thought and reality is to be found in the grammar of the language. Perception and knowledge could never be the same. The man who is fortunate in his choice of son-in-law gains a son, the man unfortunate in his choice loses his daughter also. Wonder is the feeling of a philosopher, and philosophy begins in wonder. Many secrets of art and nature are thought by the unlearned to be magical. The most momentous thing in human life is the art of winning the soul to good or to evil.